Hello everyone, this is Ryan here with another deck review for Hocus Pocus. In today's video, we're going to look at the Maker's Deck from Dan and Dave, which was released on their birthday and designed by Chad Michael Studio, a Dallas-based design firm that also brought us the Nomad Deck. Makers utilizes the 12 courts, the Ace of Spades, and the Jokers to commemorate 14 different guilds that have shaped the world throughout time. They use consistent line work and even spacing throughout the tuck box, the card backs, and the card faces to tie the whole design together. Let's start off with a closer look at the box. The tuck case starts with a deep mac green stock and is embossed on five of the six sides before being stamped with two different tones of gold foil over the majority of the tuck. The front of the box frames the deck's name and includes clear and easy to read descriptions of the product along with the Buck Brothers and Company moniker. A segmented box border frames the front while even scroll work and patterns fill the empty spaces. The two sides list the companies responsible for the deck's design and distribution. The back of the tuck features a mirrored design centered on a lighter gold foil globe image. Opposing swords pierce the center and order of makers is expressed in a banner top and bottom. The same frame and scroll work motif from the front fills the back of the tuck. The design is the exact same as the card backs except in scale and use of foil. The deck seal wraps from the front to the back covering a portion of the top of the box that reads Dan and Dave Industries. The orange red label lists some specs about the deck and print run. The tuck flap and tabs are decorated with gold foil and more script pertaining to the Buck Twins and the quality of the deck. The interior is printed with gold metallic ink over the green stock with elements from the tuck's exterior. Inside the foil and embossed tuck are 56 cards of the highest quality. The card back design is composed of a centered globe image with details radiating outward. Order of Makers sits above and is mirrored below. A crown spade design extends from the edges of the center design to the top and bottom frames. Swords on the right and left extend from the center to the edges. Line work and more typography fill the remaining space. The consistent and evenly spaced gold line work and green negative space come together to give the design a fluid and full design without looking too heavy or muddled. The same line thickness theory is applied to the tuck and the card faces as well. The 12 courts, the jokers, and the ace of spades all portray one of the 14 makers this deck commemorates. The first of the 14 is the wanderer on the ace of spades, and depicts a bearded figure with an elaborate headpiece in the shape of a spade. In the past, a wanderer or traveler would be exposed to more knowledge as they journey the world and often revered for their experiences and tales of adventure. Other maker's guilds are portrayed by the courts, like the Queen of Clubs, she represents Aborus, or those that specialized in the cultivation, management, and study of plant life. Perhaps the most famous arborist is John Chapman, better known as Johnny Appleseed. The King of Diamonds showcases a figure holding a Book of Faith and his other hand in a lotus position. Keys to the locked book are crossed in the center. The Jack of Spades is a smith and clutches the hammers in both hands. A blacksmith might come to mind, but don't forget about the other smith trades like aerosmiths, bladesmiths, locksmiths, and even fendersmiths, or those that make and repair fenders in front of fireplaces. The Order of Makers covers crafters, merchants, and religious service providers as well. The Queen of Dimes represents the latter and depicts the abbess or female head of a group of nuns. Abbess represents the role women played in religion and often held responsibility on parallel with bishops. The other eight courts represent various other trades, and I encourage you to look them up and research the roles they played in everyday life, past and present. All 12 courts are printed with gold metallic inks and red and black suit indicators. The same even line work and open spaces gives an impactful impression with lots of detail while remaining clearly readable and easy to distinguish. The two jokers showcase a marauder, one in black and one in gold, in the form of a skull-faced pirate with translated Latin phrases arching overhead. Although thievery and piracy may not be the most honorable trades, marauding was one of the most common peasant reactions to oppression and hardships of the ruling class, often out of necessity or simply just to survive. The number cards in remaining three aces all feature stylized pips and pip placement. As with the tuck, card packs, and quartz, the consistent line width design ties the card faces to the rest of the deck. The card faces, whether quartz or numbers, have a consistent feel and fluid theme that carries across. The last two cards are advertisement or cut cards for the Dan and Dave and Art of Play brands. The solid green and solid gold cards tribute the two major colors used in this deck. USPCC printed this deck on their crushed stock, giving the cards a light and thin feel while still remaining snappy and durable under heavy use. The borders are pretty even and medium in width. A nice even spread will show slivers of green and gold contrasting against the white. Makers was released on the twins' birthday and is a fitting tribute to the Buck Twins and their contribution to the craft. This deck appeals to me on so many different levels, from the eye-catching back design to the custom quartz to the intricate tuck case and the contrasting deck seal. 
Dan and Dave continue to bring us fresh products to the market while sourcing some of the best designers like Chad Michael, Jeff Trish, and Jonathan Burton, just to name a few recent ones. There, you could definitely tell there's an emphasis on intricate packaging and attention to detail on every level without sacrificing the quality or the handling of the cards themselves. You can find the majority of the Dan and Dave line on hocus-pocus.com in the card deck section, where you'll find 600 plus other decks to shop from, including Chad Michael's Nomad deck. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more reviews.